Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create variables in PHP. So I'm going to do a series of videos and in this one I've got a set of rules displayed right here. So there are some rules for naming conventions in PHP which are different than other programming languages. So the rule in PHP is that every time you create a variable it has to start with a dollar sign. Right? If you don't use a dollar sign as your first character, that's kind of a way of indicating that you're declaring a constant, and that's not what this tutorial is about, and you don't want to do that. So there's a couple rules. One is it has to start with dollar sign. Second rule, basically, is that the second character has to be a letter. All right? So you can do dollar sign and then some kind of a letter. Now, beyond that second character, you can do numbers, you can do letters, you just can't do special symbols, right? So no slashes, no hyphens, but you can do underscores. So underscores are one of those things that are allowed. And that second character, a minute ago when I said it had to be a character, as in a letter, it can also be an underscore. And so a typical way to name your variables is just like this. The spell check kind of throws it off, but that's an underscore right there, or camel cased like that. So now I've talked about it, let's see what it looks like. So I've got just a simple little PHP script here, it does literally nothing, right? Here's my opening PHP tag, here's my closing PHP tag. If I want to declare a variable, there is no keyword for this, all right? I just create them on the fly. So let's say I call this my var, notice I camel cased it, done. My variable's declared, I could end like that. But it's always good form to do an assignment at the same time you, or basically what we would call this initializing a variable. So I'm going to call my variable, I'm going to give it a type, or notice I didn't give it a type, I'm just going to give it a value. So I'm going to say I've got this variable called my var, and it's equal to hello world. So those of you that do have some programming experience should be asking a question like this, well what's the type of our variable, right? Because every variable has to have a type, like integer, or double, or boolean, or string. If you've programmed before, it wouldn't come in as any surprise that this is a string. Right, it's a string because that's what I assigned it. But if I go down to the next line, right, and I write something like this, so same name, and I guess I'm not declaring it here, I am just assigning it a value like five. Right, so at this point, literally if I'm sitting here on line four, then this is a string. But once I'm on line six, I would say that my var is an integer. Right, an integer is a whole number. Just, just forget that I did that. Let's output this and just create a little hello world program. So now if I want to actually send something out to the browser, I'm going to use keyword echo. Right, every statement ends with a semicolon. And really, so quotes, that would, echo, that would indicate that I'm about to print out a string. And I could do that, but really, I just want to write my var. Notice that when I reference my var, I have to include that dollar sign. I could see people getting confused with the idea of maybe thinking this is just like meaning you're about to declare a variable. Not really the case. It's actually a part of the variable's name. And so what this is going to do, if I go to run this program, it's going to print out hello world. Right? It's not going to say my var because my var is equal to hello world. Right, so it's not going to print out the name of the variable. I reference that variable by its name, but really what's going to be displayed here is its value. So this concludes my tutorial on how to declare a variable. My next video will talk about types and some more interesting topics. This one in itself isn't that interesting, but you've got to start somewhere. Thanks for watching.